Tu m'amènes un bon galon de caribou, puis on devient ami. Sinon, mon petit gars, tu sors avant que je te sorte. <rire> well, that that guy has shut up, um, I'm gonna just hit pause there, so maybe he can't talk no more. Okay, maybe not. I'm just gonna go out on the porch really quickly. Go outside! Oh. So, welcome back to the next part of Kona. A little bit of time has passed since, uh, since I played the last part, you know. Uh, so much time has passed, in fact, that I have a camera right there. Oak. So, um, enjoy the camera. Also, it may look like I'm wearing the same shirt in a lot of these videos, and if it does, it's because I am. I record some of these videos in the same day, so I take advantage of what time I have, and sometimes I don't have a lot. So I gotta try to cram as much into one as possible. There was something else I was gonna say, but I can't remember, so we're gonna play the game. <laughs> I will find your fucking garbo for that jacket. Nice jacket. Um, I, I I don't know how word up what I'm doing. A lot of time has passed since I've played this. A couple of weeks, three weeks. So I'm gonna have to reacquaint myself with the controls. And this has got some really weird controls, by the way. Look at the map. There, Carl had fed his mind, but had forgotten the harsh reality that his body also needed nourishment, especially in the dead of winter. Do I have to eat food? I don't. I don't understand because you can't interact with the food. Both left or both right bumper and right trigger drives the car, it looks like. Okay, whatever. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking and it's all coming back to me. Um, I still gotta have gas. I gotta have a gas can to get the snowmobile. So we're looking for a gas can. Um, and, and we're looking for stuff to make this dude's caribou. I can't look at my inventory. Can I get out? I can drink beer. I can drink water. Oh, okay. Probably shouldn't be drinking out in the middle of the winter. It'll make you feel warm, but it doesn't actually make you warm. I guess we'll continue with our exploration and hopefully we'll find what we're looking for. Um, okay, I guess we'll just go on down the road. Um, I'm gonna go back out on the exit here. Make my way on down to the next house. Son of a bitch. This is a great game. And I think it does have horror elements in it. I got choked up there where I've been sneezing. I'm on a roll today. Totally on a roll. Also on the road. On the road again. I can't wait to get on the road again. Yes, we are on the road. Check out the map. Let's make sure we're going the right way. Yep.
What's up, fuckers? Rolling up in here like it's a family reunion. It's good old Uncle Carl here to, you know, check up on you guys. A wintry atmosphere surrounded the house. The soundlessness of the area suggested it was empty. Garbage. Ooh, garbage. Nothing. Can't a man just rifle through the trash and find some useful shit? Everybody must be carpenters out here. Everybody's got a big old pile of wood. I want to play on the tire swing. Come on! Oh, come on. Get on there, Carl. Get your fat ass on there. I don't think Carl's fat. I'm just saying that. Ooh, a shoe. When finding a boot, one wonders what became of the foot. I'm gonna just close you back. Yes, we don't. Oh my god, why doesn't it close all the way? I don't like that. Furniture has been moved several times. They can't make up their mind where it goes, you know? No, let's leave the power on. The key, Ooh, a key. which seemed to be meant for a padlock, bore an inscription reading Clutze a Fis. Hmm, a company name. Better keep an eye open. Businesses weren't exactly numerous around these parts. Money in a jar. What a shame. Carl Give would have loved cookies. Money. <laughs> Carl. money in a jar. What a shame. Carl would have loved cookies. Man, I would have liked to have some cookies too. Rice crunchies. Bellogs. Gotta love knockoff stuff. I'm gonna go check out the uh, shed first. Because I can. It's like, there's always creepy shit in the shed, right? Fuck me. Wrong key. Never mind. This is a nice house. They even added in the electric wires. Ooh, a note. Uh, how did Carl get down on his knees? There we go. Give me... Thank you. Okay, I'll read that in a second. I will want to close the door. Also going to start a fire if I can never get back up. I hit a button. What did I hit? There we go. Yay, warm. Okay, now let's see. What was Carl? What did he pick up? No, 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 no. Wrong thingy. Note from Martin Blaze. My sweet Marie, please excuse my handwriting. I'm in a hurry. I have to leave for North Manistan with Mom and Mrs. Roy, as they say it's too, as they say it's far too dangerous around here these days. I don't know much about what's going on because Mom won't tell me anything in an attempt to reassure me, but all I know is that she has the exact same expression on her face whenever I startle her. Dad and Mr. Roy aren't coming because they have gone to get Mr. Lachance. They're real heroes. My grandmother lives in a very big house in North Manistan. You'd be welcome there. I must go now, quite literally, your friend Martin. Aw, oh, I think Martin might have a crush on her. Oh man, I love that thing. I want one of those. The, uh, I don't even know what those are called. Spirographs. Spirographs. Man, I want one, like, really bad. The now. Spirograph amused Carl. It was a nice modern toy. Aside from being repetitive by nature and completely useless, still, it found its way into many Quebecois home. And they're fun. I want it. Give me one. I want another one. They need to bring those back into stores. Little Martin Blais was a family member. There was some resemblance between them. 
and Carl took note of the sense of bonding and pride they projected. The picture had been taken inside the house. It was the same wallpaper. Judging by the smiles, nobody suspected the impending misfortunes. Dominoes! Why is that a broken domino? How do you break it? Oh wait, that's dice. I'm stupid. Was... <laughs> Just let it go. Ooh, ciggies. Carl wants those. Baseball card? Hockey card. Hay stub for some undoubtedly harsh lumberjack work. Alexandre Bleff felled trees and chopped woods for Cloutier et Fils. Yet yeah, we're just raiding the fridge, helping ourselves. Do I have a flashlight? I do have a flashlight, right? I think I do. Whatever I stepped on. Note added. So that added something to my little uh, journal. Creepy, there's a monster with woolies. Le Monstre. More cards. Impossible creation for a mechanical drawing toy. And things are kind of hard if you're not good at them. Where did Mr. Fish go? What? Turn you off. You're annoying. Only the tormented mind smoke in bed. That picture's gone. They left all their lights off, too. Louise's diary. I fear the worst for Alexander. He hardly gets any sleep. I thought it was for the work, but it seems to be far worse than that. From dusk till dawn, he stares into the void. He barely speaks to me. His son asked him to play the ball, and he didn't say a word. And that way, he has to glance at the window. Last night, I heard him mumble in his sleep, he's coming, he's murmured. I don't know why, but those words left a deep... Left a deep impression on me. He woke up shortly after, covered in sweat. Couldn't remember his dream, obviously. He didn't go back to sleep after that. Chain smoking the night away over the window. He told me to pack my things this morning. I wonder why. Does he himself know? We're waiting, but for what? I think I feel dread. Go to the next page. Ah, ah, now damn it! Is there only one page? says change page. I guess it's just one page. I mean, that's, that's a hell of a diary to only have one page. They like flower, uh, floral patterned clothes, don't they? Well, I guess that's all there is to see. Oh, shit. Fuck! 
Uh, go away. Uh, fuck, 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 fuck. Controls, 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 tools, equipment. Grab the damn... What? Get the fucking gun out, motherfucker! Okay, I'll just run at him and that makes him leave. What the hell is he eating? Whatever. Bulbs burned out, okay. Painkillers, yummy. No mirror. Well, looks like someone woke up on the wrong side of the bed. Yes, yes they did. Over the last few days, a lack of resources forced the death investigation of Pierre Blay to come to a halt. The autopsy of the body conducted over the last few weeks didn't reveal any clue that could have helped investigators, who refused to comment on what would happen next. This new development is happening in the context of the hypothesis of an accident, which is still, in spite of skepticism, expressed by the local population. The ongoing official cause of death provided by the authorities. The incident is said to have occurred in the forest surrounding Lake Atamapec. Pierre Blay was found lifeless two weeks ago near a footpath leading to the soon-to-be restarted copper mine. Blay, an engineer by training who was working on behalf of the consortium headed by William Hamilton, was reportedly in charge of the development plans surrounding the reopening of the mine. At first, police had disclosed that the body had been desecrated. Today, the official version is that it was partly devoured by beasts, hence the original assumption that a crime had been committed. Okay, so I'm going to pull up that diary again, because um, that one didn't give me the option to change pages. So, for whatever reason, I cannot change the page. I don't know why. This might be kind of a bug. Unless I'm just doing something wrong. I wonder what the keyboard control is for that. Change page. Wazdy. Okay, I guess I guess there's no pages. I don't, I don't know. Nope. No pages, so... Whatever. We tried. But let's go back and finish exploring. Wrong thingy. Just rifling through the cabinets. Ooh, fire starter underneath the sink. That's a great spot for that. Toilet plunger. A bit of reading to pass the time. Yep. Um, I don't think I found a key though to get into the um that shed that's outside. Am I missing something? A window left open in that weather? Perhaps something had to be watched. The sheets were in such a way that indicated a rude awakening, followed by a hurried escape. What had happened here? Kind of key, but I don't. What the hell does it go to? I bet it goes. This key goes to that log house up there that uh, we first seen. That's got to be what that is, because it was. He said it was for a log company. Put my flashlight away, I guess. 
Do I really want to go all the way up there just to see if that key opens up? Yeah, I think we will. Woo, doggy, we're gonna be driving like we stole it. Which one was locked? This one? No, not this one. Shit, was it that one? Welcome to Alibaba's Cave, Lumberjack Edition. Surely. Sorry, Carl. Didn't mean Carl would find something worth his time in here. We need to find a gas can. What if the gas can's in here? Tools. Junk. Oh, forest cabin key. Polaroid film. A magnet. Tool shed note. To Paul and Jean Pierre. Don't forget to return the key for the cabin if you have to use it. Thank you. Your supervisor. The next bus for Shibugamu will be October 12th. Next one is two weeks later. Thank you. It would be too cumbersome to carry around. We'll go all evil dead on their ass. Whatever it is. So where is the um um where is this forest cabin at? Have I have I already come across it? That key surely is not gonna go to that shed up there at that house we was just at. Nothing. Already been here? I think I already came here when I went on way earlier. Maybe it was that dude's boot at that other house, right? Makes sense, right? There was only void where the road should be. Carl hated dead ends. He felt trapped. It was as if the road had drowned in the lake. He would have to find help by another road. Truck won't go there. Oh, their clothes have been strewn about. Ranger manual. The manual owner seems to be Wilfred Roy, so that's who the blazes we're talking about. Someone must have dropped this in a hurry, but whoever did was heading into the woods. Carl's tracking instincts were quickly kicking in. Sound good. Oh shit. Carl knew why he was suddenly shivering. He was going back to the realm of visions. Carl had no issue recognizing the spirit-like figures, but he couldn't figure out what they wanted from him. The phantom, freed of reality's shackles, vanished in the forest. Earlier, Carl had witnessed the tragedy that befell it. Another phantom disappeared in the wilderness. Carl had seen what happened to it, too. that the cold was beating a retreat, as if he was moving away from some kind of center of gravity. Oh 
Okay, so I have to stay here. The further Carl moved away from the ice block, the more his senses came back to him. It was so cold, already Carl did not feel his toes anymore. not hold up much longer. He had to warm himself. Okay, so now I have a wired magnet. I don't know what it does, but we'll find out. A key? Oh! What could it be for? The okay. garden shed? Carl couldn't reach it with his arm alone, but he had more than a few tricks up his sleeve to pick it up. There's the gas can. Hells yeah. I'm gonna go put some of this shit in the truck. gonna have us a snowmobile. The chainsaw doesn't work. What is it with him and chainsaws? Empty gas can. Yep. We are good. We are gonna have all the shit for the snowmobile. So That's gonna make traveling a lot, a lot better, I think. Because it's gonna go where the truck can't go, you know. It's universal, so anything I put on this goes on my truck and vice versa. How do I get it out of here? The gate is open. Hell yeah. We're going off-roading, guys. Carl wanted to know more about this oddball mechanic. Surely he would find something somewhere on this land. get off. How do I dismount? I don't know how to dismount. Fuck off of it. Get off of it.
Oh, shit, fuck. Shit, whatever's been making the orange footsteps lives in here. The cold seemed to be more brutal here than anywhere else. It seeped into bones and into every breath to get to the heart until it stopped. Carl needed to be dressed in warm clothes to survive. Well, that's what happens when you die. We won't go there. I'll go discover it, but I won't go in there. Wait, I was driving the snowmobile. Pull out the goddamn map, fucker! Weird, okay. I don't know how this mechanic works. When you die, you get your truck instead of your snowmobile. log. Well, I'm gonna leave it there in the video. Um, so we got the snowmobile. Yay! Um, see you in the next one.